Attack on Titan fans, you no longer need to wait for more anime material because we finally got some more. Freaking Ilse's Notebook OVA. We finally got it. And it was just really good fucking like seeing a bit more like more Attack on Titan. I mean, reading the manga, I fucking love it. But then as well, it's just that phenomenal anime quality and greatness. I fucking love it. And I'm just so hyped to see, you know. We got a little bit more. Now, this is a, um, a little sp uh, special spin-off chapter, I guess you could say. which is 18.5, which is known as Ilse's Notebook. And this one just shows, I think this is before... They said in the chapter, this was before, like, Hanji um, got Sonny and Bean. I think this was before, in the manga, I don't know if this was the anime's case, Aaron was in the prison at that time. So that's that where that is. I don't know, I'll have to do a bit more details in that. But this one shows a star, you can see Levi's squad chasing this titan around, like, far. It was just like, fucking awesome. Like, uh, like, freaking Levi going in. Taking all this stupid like uh, Titan and it he actually killed um Oro and I was really surprised at that because like, it gets like head button this freaking like this tree and Hanji were like really excited and it's like really curious because I, I I miss a bit of Hanji Hanji's that crazy mad scientist with her and just like seeing her like go like really intrigued over this guy just smashing his head on the wall and find out that there's a corpse in there with its head missing. And turns out it's this um, girl known as Ilse, and it was a soldier from a year ago, and she wrote a diary that her entire squad got wiped out. This was outside the wall. She was part of the Scouting Legions, and pretty much she uh, she had broken 3D gear. She didn't have a horse, and she tried to run all the way back to the wall. And during that time, she got chased down by a Titan, and it's the same Titan that Levi just killed now. And it was just so weird, this tie just expressed it, and it got on its knees, and it was praying, like, and saying, Welcome, Ymir people. Now, people know who Ymir is in the series, and I read the manga, so I'm not going too much into details, since this is, I feel like this is a special treat for anime fans. But it's like, what do you think he meant by that? Because this girl looked a lot like Ymir in some way, so I'm guessing that's why it said that. But it's like, why would it say the Ymir, though? That's the true question. Like, why would it say that? So, it shows that Ymir is a little bit more special than what we said. Because she didn't really get any time to shine in the anime at all. Like, she didn't really ne never had any special moments apart from, like, you know, just talking with Krista for the entire series. Once, like, she started interrogating this Titan, just asking, you know, why do you eat people? Who are you? Where do you come from? What are your origins? It seemed like the Titan was getting very upset trying to remember, like it knows something, but it just can't find out. So it also shows that the abnormal Titans seem to have a lot more to them. They're not just like empty bodies and stuff. Like there's something more going on with some of these Titans, especially like the abnormals, especially with like Colossus, Armored, you know, all these different kind of Titans. It shows that maybe there's something more going on with them. And then once it realizes, it just freaks out, starts ripping its face with the skin like that, and just gets its freaking um, mouth and just chomps on the head. But as sort of respect, maybe I think he did a respect, maybe it thought it was Ymir, put it in the tree and used it as like a burial, like it sort of uh, like made a little coven or something for it. It was kind of weird with that. So it ending and then it shared like the ODA ending, you know, with um, saying, oh, Hanji got Sony and Bean, like, and everything's all good and proper now, like, so I really like this, this show is like, you know, there is potential Titan Season 2, since, you know, we're getting OVA, there's another OVA coming out, and it's just great, and then as well, we've got two spin-off mangas, and overall, we're getting a lot of Titan material, and I'm very happy, I love Titan, it's my favourite monthly, like, it's, it probably is my favourite manga to read out of everything I do, and just to see more of the anime, which is like, one of my like all-time favorites this year and it's probably has been for the decade it's been really enjoyable uh to see Titan and to see a little bit more is the tiny little bit more and some like original content as well like with um with the like whole half like the, the first half was all filler to it although I, I i really did enjoy that you get to see a bit more of levi and his crew um overall i really did enjoy this ova and I, I thought it's something to watch, I say, if you really want a little bit more tease, or maybe you should, like, get into the manga, I'd, like, 
But knowing that there will probably be a season two of like Titan anime, yeah, probably will. But that's all for me. I want to thank very much for watching. Remember, Strat Love and Sana, and I'll see you guys next time.